What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this lesson, we are going to add a standard craft truss to the steel frame of the entryway roof, which is here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here and we are going to pick these two columns here for us to be able to draw our uh, truss. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to show you how to modify it. Okay, but before that, let me just select this area here using a window selection and then after that from the view panel I'm going to select selection box to create a separate 3d for that so if you if you encounter this type of a scenario so what you just do is just click outside and then just zoom extend your drawing okay there you go and then go back again to the floor plan so let's select here the tile views to show also the 3d view okay there you go so this is where we are going to place our truss okay our standard craft truss okay so let's do this so let's go to the stru structure tab and then select structure truss okay structural trusses so we are going to select this one and then after that from the properties so you also have here a whole flat truss and then the other one is Pratt flat truss which is what we're going to use so let's select that and then from the draw panel so make sure line tool is selected okay and that's it so all we have to do is to just click the column there the two column intersection just click that and there you go in the 3d view just terminate the tool by selecting modify and then let's modify it here in the 3d view okay you can actually create also an elevation if you want so let me just quickly show you how to create an elevation so from your quick access or i mean from your view tab you can select here elevation if you click the drop down arrow you have uh, two types of elevation here so one is framing elevation the other one is elevation just a normal elevation just like the elevation that we have here but in this case i'll be selecting framing elevation so let's click this and then after that let us uh, move our pointer to the truss as you can see if you just simply move your pointer here your framing elevation will not appear so you need to move your pointer to highlight the truss and that's the only time that your uh, elevation symbol will appear so just click there you go so the name is elevation 1-a just terminate that and after you create that elevation it will be added here on the project browser so if you expand that there's your elevation okay so let's open up the elevation by double clicking this uh, view here from the project browser or double clicking that uh, field region there just double click and then it will now open your elevation so from the elevation uh, you can click the boundary and then you can adjust if you want just like that all right okay and then you can also go to your uh, uh, view control bar so there is an option here or tool that is called detail level so currently it is set to course but if you make that uh, fine detail level so it will show you the uh, the complete model not only in line representation but the complete one okay of course you can again change the visual style if you want to shaded view or uh, realistic there you go but uh, I'll just make that hidden line here okay so let's modify it here so let's select the truss and then after that so from the properties we need to change the start level offset and then the end level offset so let me let me change that to minus three feet the other one is also minus three feet and then after that just move your pointer back and then it will automatically be applied so as you can see it's already moved down but the problem is the height of our truss is too high so again let's select the truss and then from the instance properties let's change the truss height so let's just make that three feet okay and then apply 
and that's it okay right now here on my 3d view so there are some unnecessary uh, cord here or part of the truss that is not needed just like this is still here this one okay you see this is still here it's overlapping this one so we don't need that and also the other side here so there is also still here see this one so it's overlapping our uh, frame here so we don't need that so we are going to remove that so how to select this this one because as you can see if I hover my pointer it highlights the whole truss I cannot click it individually now the trick here is what you do is you move your pointer to that element that you want to select and you can see that the whole truss will be selected so just hover your pointer do not click so what you do is you press the tab once so as you can see it will now highlight it individually so that is the steel that we want to remove so if you are going to press the tab continuously you will notice it will cycle the selection okay so that's the trick so in order for you to select an element which is part of the group or the model you want to select it individually so you need to move your pointer to that particular element and then after that you press the tab uh, one by one until it highlights so that's how you cycle the selection in Revit so it's a standard way so um, you press the tab so once it highlights like that so you click and then you can see you cannot delete that easily because it is pinned so you need to unpin that you see that uh, pin icon so you just click that one to make it unpin and then you can now delete that okay there you go so it's now deleted so let's go to the other side same procedure uh, hover your pointer press tab okay so once it highlights click and then click the pin here to unpin that and then delete and there you go okay and then also you will notice that our uh, truss here is, is still slightly above our frame here so let's modify it let's lower it down so just uh, click your truss here um, and then let's make this a little lower here let's make this uh, 3 feet 5 inches 3 feet 5 inches 5 inches and then just apply and there you have it then just click outside okay if ever you want to see the analytical model of our structure here so what you do is in the 3d view let me just maximize this 3d view so in my 3d view so you can go to your uh, view control bar again and then click reveal hidden elements because the analytical model here is hidden so you can select that and then you can now see there your analytical model so what you do maybe is you can highlight like this to select and then after that you can use the filter here to refine the selection and then select check none and then let's look for the analytical here so analytical beams braces and columns and that's it just select here okay so once it's selected so let's unhide it unhide and then close again the reveal hidden elements window and there you go so there's your analytical model so as you can see even though there the model per se is not uh, connected nicely but you will see that the analytical model they are connected properly okay so basically that's how you create your uh, truss in Revit so again if you have any comments questions or suggestion just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thank you for watching have a nice day